So kia ora friend, I am Carmel and I am here with more manifesting magic wisdom. So today's topic is truth and probably one of my favourite topics to talk about with manifesting because a lot of people don't realise that they have a system of truth within them. Truth is not out here and the more you and the quicker you understand this the easier it gets for you to manifest because you can quickly gauge whether you're on track or not so your system of truth are in your emotions it's called your emotional guidance system and this is this uh some people might call it intuition but it's it's more than that because it is your emotions and it's really easy if you think something and with manifesting, obviously you have a goal. I have a goal, right, here's the goal. And I can either have maximum expansion, and my goal can happen, or I can have maximum resistance to my goal happening for all the reasons and all the excuses. And along that scale, however close you get, you'll start to feel where you are positively aligned, as in, I'm close to my goal, and an example, say you got your dream job, right? You just found out. You're going to feel so much relief and happiness and excitement, okay? So that your emotions are telling you, yeah, you're aligned with the goal and hey, it's showed up. You don't get the job or you just don't think you're going to get the job or you just, you know, you've been feeling really absolutely uh, stumped by the whole idea of what your new job might mean that is the process of resistance and your emotions are telling your, you you are resistant so with manifesting what does this mean it means we use how we feel to align with our goals and when we feel good we're aligned with them and when we're creating all the excuses and feeling fearful and anxious and overwhelmed and the how we're questioning constantly how we're going to do this, we're in the opposite. So how do you get into this space? Because it's easy to say it, but how do you get into the space of feeling better? You observe your emotions. How does this thought feel with me right now? Then think again. Think another thought. See if you can find a thought that makes you feel slightly better than where you are in the resistance space. So for an example, if you are wanting to move into a new job, you're wanting to leave and shift, you're wanting to advance your skills, so when you think about that, stay there. Now, how does it make you feel? Well, if I had this new job, I would have more, I'd have more money, I'd have more freedom, I'd have more stimulation. That, you can, you can feel the goodness, you can feel your alignment. But if you start to think, oh, well, who will ever take me? How am I going to move into this? How can I take on this new role? You can see where it starts. You start almost instantly to sabotage where you might go with it. So what you need to do is stop and just reassess it. How can I stay in the space of expansion and feeling good with my goal? How can I keep feeling good about this goal? Keep feeling good, good keep feeling things that keep you aligned with the state of your goal and you'll get there I promise whatever it is on any goal it's just a process of staying good with it and if you sink into the latter just change shift tack and change focus and you'll be able to come back into that place of expansion which means it's easier to manifest your goal so I hope you like that little patch and I hope you're enjoying your holiday it's so warm here in New Zealand uh, and if you want to reach out and get in contact, the best place is through our website, www.manifestersunite.com. Lots more managing, uh, managing, manifesting courses and programs and tips. Reach out and thanks for listening.